Amazon EC2, and AWS Core Services. You can build a game server hosting solution using EC2 instances and AWS Core Services. This is the most flexible option available because you have all the services within AWS to use in your design. That means you need to design and implement all the management responsibilities. Those are infrastructure management, session management for session-based games, game session placement, matchmaking if your game uses matches, and core game services such as database support. Now that sounds like a lot of work, and it is. So when might you choose this option over a container-based option or using Amazon GameLift or Fleet IQ game server groups? Use EC2 instances when the game requirements are unique and atypical. That is, use EC2 instances when you need to build your own game server hosting solution because your game server does not work like anyone else's. Amazon EC2 has an amazing breadth and depth of features. At this time, there are more than 275 instance types, including instances that are optimized for memory, compute, and high-capacity storage. You can create a custom Amazon Machine Image, or AMI, with software pre-installed and configured for faster startup of instances. Each instance automatically gets a private IP address and, optionally, a public IP address and a fully qualified domain name. You can use the public IP for players' game devices to connect. Alternatively, you can remove the public IP to isolate internal servers. EC2 spot instances are available at up to a 90% discount. You can use auto-scaling of on-demand instances in your design so that the EC2 group can meet player demand. Your Amazon EC2-based game server hosting solution can be designed for scalability, security, and resiliency. Usually this involves separating functions within the design for specialization and independent scaling. These parts will need to connect, communicate, and collaborate. Amazon's networking has many features that can be useful. Here are a few of them. AWS offers virtual private cloud networks, or VPCs. For game tech applications, VPCs provide the ability to create subnets, route traffic within a routing table. NAT Gateway allows communications between instances in the VPC. Also, network traffic is charged at different rates depending on source and origin. Generally, inbound data is free and outgoing traffic to the internet costs the most. This asymmetry in network traffic may influence your solution design because it favors caching copies of server data rather than transferring large amounts of data from the server to the clients. VPC endpoints enable you to privately connect instances in your VPC to a certain AWS services without requiring a public IP address. A VPC peering connection is a networking connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them without passing over the general internet. AWS Transit Gateway is a service that enables you to make multiple connections between VPCs, route traffic freely between them, and connect on-premises networks to your Amazon VPC. For game tech applications, the storage of game and system or world state information is critical to scalability and game performance. The storage options offer trade-offs between the structure and organization of data and speed and performance of certain actions. For example, some services are optimized for storing large amounts of data, some services are fast at lookup but slow to update, and some offer fine control for organizing and retrieving data. You might want to use different data storage and database services in different parts of your solutions. Here are some of the services available that are commonly used in game server hosting. Instances are provisioned with Amazon Elastic Block Storage, or EBS, devices. Amazon EBS gives you block storage, which provides file-based access and fast performance. You can also store data as objects in Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3. Amazon S3 is useful for large or unstructured data. For SQL access to schema-structured data, you can use Amazon Aurora or MySQL on RDS. Aurora improves on MySQL and RDS by scaling compute separately from data storage, giving massive storage with high performance. Aurora delivers up to five times the throughput of standard MySQL running on the same hardware and enables existing MySQL applications and tools to run without requiring modification. DynamoDB is a managed NoSQL service that supports both key value and document data model. 
making it a perfect choice for most types of persistent data used by games. It supports tables of virtually any size with horizontal scaling. With DynamoDB, there are no servers to provision, patch, or manage, and no software to install, maintain, or operate. DynamoDB automatically scales tables to adjust for capacity and maintains performance with zero administration. In order to reduce latency on database reads of, for example, session tokens, which are used extremely frequently, a caching database like ElastiCache Redis or DynamoDB DAX can be used. Since the caching database stores data in memory, access has millisecond latency. Some features like leaderboards also benefit from Redis's specialized data types like sorted set for efficiency. There are a handful of miscellaneous services that are frequently used to connect other services together to create service-oriented or microservice architected solutions. Examine the characteristics of AWS core services and Amazon EC2 hosting compared with business and technical requirements. AWS core services and EC2 is an ideal solution for game server hosting when the design is differentiating. If the way that game server hosting works in your game is different than other games, then developing your own game server hosting solution from basic infrastructure services might be the best solution.